How's it going guys? Sharblox here. I know I told you guys recently in a video that I was preparing another Roblox news video. Well basically guys I had to scrap that video because the topics which I included in that video got kind of old. So yeah I pretty much had to delete it and start again. But oh well guys it doesn't matter because I have a new Roblox news video for today and I thought guys let's do today's Roblox news video a little bit different because what I'm going to do is show you guys the brand new Roblox features and we are going to be testing them in today's video. I'm basically going to be reviewing these new website updates right i'll say if they're good i'll say if they're bad it's going to be pretty interesting for sure so let's get straight on to the first one this one guys is from bloxy news so shout out to them and tons of you guys have been asking me about this one you really want me to make a video on this so this is called the avatar items for you update well the thing is guys i'm pretty sure i have already made a video on this because as you guys can see this tweet actually came out on the 12th of october 2021 so yeah this tweet right here is actually pretty old. So back in October, Bloxy News said Roblox is testing a new feature called Avatar Items for You. Well, this feature, guys, has been fully released. I was just thinking, guys, does that mean it took Roblox seven months just to release this feature? What the heck? That's such a long time. It's such a basic feature. Okay, so let's review it. Avatar Items for You. Um, what the heck? Why are these items for me? I don't like any of this stuff. Apple headphones, blue goat hood, floating red blossom, Bloxy with no brim. Oh, for God's sake. Red Clochi? What the heck is that? And a Grand Pappy computer for 300 Robux. The rest are UGC. I think that's a Roblox item. How are these items for me? Well, guys, I guess this update is kind of a disaster. That's definitely not correct. I have absolutely no interest in buying any of these items whatsoever. No offense to these guys, of course. This stuff just isn't my style at all, is it? So yeah, that first update was kind of pointless. Let's move on to something else. Got an update here that looks kind of interesting. Shout out to Hen, I think. So they said Roblox, it finally happens let's go at shark blocks i'm guessing this means there's like new game categories because all of these games are like art style drawing games yeah we can check this one out quickly as well so that's also on the home page so we've got continue that's back to the top that's very good friend activity that's down there tycoon survival build in sandbox real world role play recommended for you adventure simulation action oh yeah there is actually some new stuff i don't have the art and drawing one but some of these are new i think let's check out another update anyway guys oh this one was kind of interesting also from bloxy news roblox has updated the 3d viewer for examining avatars and certain shop assets on desktop devices to allow you to move around more freely and zoom in further to do so right click and drag in the 3d viewer example video below all right guys this one looks kind of mad let's be sure to check this out oh yeah i know what this update is now i was actually having problems with this so basically what you do guys is you right click and you can zoom into your avatar in like really weird places so if I wanted to zoom into this rat, I could like right click, drag it over here. <laughs> what the heck just happened? Hold on, let me try that again. Let me zoom out. Let me right click. As you can see, you can literally right click and like move your avatar around. So you can pretty much kind of like position your avatar in a different place. Yeah, I guess it's kind of cool. But the problem I was having, of course, I make a lot of video thumbnails. The other day, guys, I was trying to copy something. So I was right clicking to copy. And I was thinking, hang on a second, my right click menu is not coming up. I was thinking, what the heck have Roblox done? And then, of course, I saw Bloxy News' tweet and I was like, like, oh yeah, it's the new Roblox update, isn't it? To be fair though, guys, this update is super weird because over on UGC accessories, if I go ahead and put this accessory in a 3D view, as you guys can see, this right-click update, it doesn't work whatsoever. Also on limited items, guys, if I also put this limited into the 3D view, as you guys can see, the right-click thing, it doesn't work. However, it does work on lead clothing, so jackets, shirts, pants, any of that stuff. So as you guys can see, I'm over on the Bald Nerds red flannel shirt, and if I put the Bald nerds flannel into a 3d view as you guys can see i can hold right click and i can literally drag it anywhere i guess this is kind of cool for like getting a closer detailed look at stuff but if you guys wanted to copy an image of this item you'd literally have to refresh the page if you just wanted to copy the picture which is kind of weird and also guys once it's in 3d mode you cannot copy the picture yeah i know guys it's a little bit strange again guys it does the same thing on lead clothing hairs you can literally drag them anywhere and also new accessories so this hair right here this is not lead clothing it's not lead clothing hair or anything really but one thing i did notice is the try on button and the 3d view button look slightly different they look a bit more kind of like polished up and rounded compared to the original version this hair is pretty new though it was only released the other day for the chipotle event but yes as you guys can see i can drag it anywhere i like i just can't copy the image which is really annoying when i'm trying to make thumbnails but there you go there's nothing much i can do about that we have another new update here also from blocks news introducing 
the new text chat service property in Roblox Studio. So what does this do? It makes the process of managing channels, decorating messages, filtering text, creating commands, and developing custom chats much more simple. Oh, I see. It's kind of like inside of games. So you can probably like change the color of the chat and stuff like that. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. We won't be testing it in today's video, but at least Roblox adding new stuff to Roblox Studio. But yet another one, guys, from Bloxy News. Announcing data store APIs for the Roblox Open Cloud. This stuff is way too complicated for me. But so there you go. If you guys know about this stuff, this is fairly new. I guess it's a good thing. Moving on, guys. Oh, I really wanted to show you guys this one. I thought this one was really cool. Also from Bloxy News, by the way, make sure to go ahead and follow them. But so they said that Roblox has created a new subcategory on the dev forum labeled Catalog Asset Bugs. This category is used to report bugs slash issues with Roblox created shop assets, i.e. like a bundle with hitbox problems, missing body parts, issues related to layered clothing. Honestly, guys, for us, this is really cool because we are always finding bugs on avatar shop accessories. We've got to check this out. Let's go over to the developer forum. Oh, wow. This is so funny because this is pretty much like all of the questions that you guys ask me on Twitter. Slime bodysuit bundle appears in inventory but cannot be worn. Yeah, I get this question all the time. Some avatar bundles are completely incompatible with lead clothing. Yep, that's true. Like the forest elf and other stuff like that. Lead hair wraps incorrectly on multiple heads. Yep, that's true. The block head, the trim head. See, you guys, because we're such nerds at the Roblox avatar shop, we already probably know about like all of the bugs. And finally, it looks like we can report them. Do we get money for reporting this? No, nah, I don't think we do. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. It's still pretty sick. What the heck is this? The Dominus Formigulosus has a character head poking through on the left side. I've never heard of that before. Oh, I see. They're talking about the Roblox Halloween Dominus. Is that a thing? I've never noticed that. So if we go to the left side. Oh, wow. They really weren't joking. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's such a small detail, but that's funny. Somebody noticed it and pointed it out. To be fair, if I was wearing this Dominus all the time, I probably also would get annoyed by that. So yeah, that's pretty funny that somebody reported such a small thing like that. I wanted to show you guys this one as well. This tweet is from Roblox Trackers. So again, go and follow them. And these guys said, coming soon to Roblox, choose an emote for your avatar and use it as your profile picture. I'm pretty sure this was leaked at like some Roblox conference thing like ages ago. But yeah, if I show you guys the video, basically what you can do is select an emote for your Roblox avatar. And when you apply it, you can scale it and you can basically set it as your avatar's profile icon. You know, normally it's just like your avatar standing still, kind of like a face portrait or something. Well, yeah, this is coming soon and you can now select any custom emote you want. Honestly, pretty cool. It is a freeze frame emote, so it's not moving or anything, but still a small update, but it's pretty nice. I'm honestly guessing, guys, this might only be available on the Roblox mobile app and also the desktop beta app like displayed in this video. I do hope it's on the normal like PC browser version, but honestly, guys, I'm not too sure. I also want to show you guys this tweets from RBX News. These guys said, Roblox dev, learn how to build with Roblox with create.roblox dot com slash docs. Is this like a tutorial guide? I think it is. Where can I find the website? Is it this one? Docs site? Yeah, I think it might be. Here we go. So yeah, it kind of is like a Roblox tutorial for beginners, of course. So get started, download studio, literally like the first steps you will ever need to know to building a Roblox game. Ka kind of cool for beginners. To be fair though, I would recommend watching YouTube videos. They're always much easier. But if you guys want to learn how to create Roblox games, I'll be sure to link this down below in this video's description. And the final news for today's video, probably something else which I know nothing about, but maybe some of you guys watching will find it useful. I don't know. Also from Bloxy News, the unified smart mesh importer beta in studio now supports animations. Apparently, some people were really pleased about this. I've got no idea what this does. Something to do with Roblox animations and importing them like really simply or something. I don't know. If this is of any use to you guys, then go ahead and go to the dev forum post, I guess. And there we have it, guys. That's it for this episode of Roblox News. Yeah, I guess it was a Roblox News. It was a bit different, but there you go. I did cover all of the latest Roblox website updates. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.